Yeah, Raylan, just reviewing the game, just kind of what stuck stuck out to you guys, just uh, being able to uh, digest it a little bit. Uh, I think, you know, offensive-wise, we made some mistakes and that we got to fix. Uh, I think with JP in there, we knew he could play ball, and he did. You know, some mistakes in there, but, you know, it, it happens. And so, you know, as a receiver group, we got to step up some and not drop the ball as much. We got to make plays. So, you know, that was a big thing. And the run game, you know, we just got to get that going. What were some of those what, – what's some of the things you guys can do around – uh, around Jordan to where if he makes a mistake, uh, you guys could lift him up because that's his first start at the college, at the Division One level. Uh, just be positive, to say it's an, you know next drive, you know, and, and that's the thing about football. You got to have short-term memory loss. Uh, you got to just wipe it away and, and then go make another play, you know. And he did that, you know, made mistakes and then made another play. So you know he knows he can make them, and you know if he has the confidence and we have the confidence in him, you know we'll be fine. Braylon, did you have a counter in your head going, knowing that you had 13 catches? Nah, I, I rewatched the the game, uh, and, and I had like nine of the first, and I, you know it was it was great, you know, and all, all uh, blessed, you know, God has helped me in so many ways. But the thing is, I can't be surprised for something I'm praying for, it. you know, I can't, you know, and coaches have put me in a great position to do that, you know, but at the end of the day, we got to win games, you know, regardless of the statistics, you know, and that's all I care about is winning games, so, you know, that's the big thing right now. Well, I don't think anybody questions how tough you are after the hit you took. How did how did that play play out for you, and how quickly did you want to get back in there after that? Because honestly, from the radio booth, I didn't know if we were going to see you again later in the day or not. Uh, I wanted to go in the next drive. I tried to, but they wouldn't let me. Uh, they said I had to wait a little bit. You know, I wanted to get back, but you know, they they wanted to make sure I was good. You know, the thing about the mentals is is way bigger than football. You know, football doesn't last forever, so they wanted to make sure I was okay. You know, Andrew, and then made sure I was fine, and then I got back out there. There's a moment in the game where it's just like, oh, next play, throw it to Raylan, throw it to Raylan, and it's just uh, there was a drive there where we all knew where the ball was going. You were still finding your way open. How, how have you been able to make yourself that open? Just route running. Just what do you what do you take pride in when uh, you're you're starting to feel that? Uh, just the IQ of the game. You know, knowing uh, where everyone is going to be. You know, on the defense, knowing you know who's got flats, who's got you know deep routes. You know, just knowing where everything has to be, uh, and then just using my speed as well to get in spaces that I need to be. Um, and and like being against Todd every week. You know, knowing that whoever I go against, I feel like no one can stop me in this conference. So you know, just having that mentality. Todd, just uh, kind of going back and reviewing defensively, just what stuck out for you guys? Uh, um, just kind of where some of the things fell apart. Fell uh, apart honestly, like. we just have to be more consistent in, in all aspects of our defense, really. You know, certain certain times of the game, it seemed like they really couldn't get the run going, and other times they break one for break one or two off for a couple big chunks. Or in the past game, you see they got we got every route covered, and the D line can eat. And then other times, they're just people running wide open around the field. It's just us communicating and being confident that we know we're we're all going to be and we'll be in the place we're supposed to be and make those plays. You brought up miscommunication after the game the other day. Just how much work has gone into that? Because uh, just kind of this far into the season, you, you, it wouldn't seem like one that you want to continue to have a problem with. But just where have you seen that growth? And, um, and you said frustrating the other day with that where it was. Just how do you improve on that going forward? Uh, just got to keep remembering we have a we have a bunch of young pieces in the defense that are still coming up, that are still learning how to play at the level, getting used to how fast the game goes. So we just got to keep keep drilling into their heads the signals and what we got to do to get them keep them focused and not just too locked in and too nervous on the game so they can make their plays. Dr. Coach talked about the, the physicality of the buys and how much bigger they are than necessarily the average team. As a guy that's lining up across the line from them, facing up with them, when you're out on the field, do they appear bigger? Does it feel like you're going up against maybe a, a power five school versus another FCS school? Uh, I wouldn't say necessarily, necessarily a power five school because there's definitely a different speed aspect that comes into it with that. But with the size and strength stuff, yeah, it's kind of. You know, I'm not the biggest guy out there, so I can really, I can really get in the box and with all those guys. You know, six five, six sevens and stuff. You get, you really get lost in in there. Can you talk a little bit about? 
maybe trying to gain some traction uh, against, you know, you've been against these ranked opponents, now you're going up against Western, and then you've got down the line the rest of the schedule. What have you learned from these games against these ranked guys that you can turn into, you know, positive things for, for Victor? Uh, really, we just know that if we do what we're supposed to do, we can hang with these guys. You know, all of everybody's touchdowns or everybody's points have come from us shooting ourselves in the foot or being in the wrong spot. So we just got to get tightened down the little details and we know that we can come out and beat on, beat on anybody. Braylon, right, you were a quarterback in high school. Um, you go play, you play here in Houston, had been some, you run track and everything. How much are you still going kind of as a wide receiver at this point in your career when you didn't do a lot of that um, in high school? I remember when you were recruited here, how hard it was to find some of your numbers at Houston. Just where, at, at this point in your wide receiver career, just kind of where are you at? How much are you still growing? Uh, I think I've grown a lot. You know, it's it's a different feel of the game. Uh, just knowing leverages, things like that. You know, just knowing where everyone's at. But, you know, I think the game kind of shrinks for me, playing receiver, you know, and then playing QB. I don't have to know as much, but I need to know, you know, what my side of the field is, what coverage is on my side of the field, things like that. So, you know, the big thing for me is trusting myself all the time, trusting my speed. Uh, I think that's a big thing for me uh, that I'm, you know, working on and, and blocking is my big part of my game right now. And just being, you know, a technician is the biggest part. So, you know, the transition, I'm still growing. And then, you know, there's always growth everywhere. So, you know, along the season, I'll still keep growing. You miss track at all? Yes. <laughs> what about the, the Allen High School cafeteria? Uh, a lot different than here. Yeah. Uh, had Subway, Pizza Hut, everywhere. Uh, it's, a, it's a lot different. You know, the, the high school I came from is really a collegiate school, you know, so the transition from high school to college was a lot easier for me than most students. So, you know, I do miss it. I still go back home and, you know, check it out and stuff. So it's, it's a big miss. We always see, I mean, Allen always pops up. Uh, just like look at this high school, look at this cafeteria. Just is it as crazy as it comes off to us when uh, we're just used to going through the line, maybe in a cafeteria? <laughs> um, I think it got normal for me. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, a lot of times when I was getting recruited, a lot of people would tell me how many people are at games and stuff like that. I played in front of 50, 60,000 in high school, so a lot of that, you know, was uh, I've already been through that. So, um, I like I said, I miss it. You know, it is home. You know, and you know, I still represent Allen uh, to this day.